What a smart rapper, today we're gonna talk about something I really need you to know. Yeah. And that is four reasons why most rappers will never make it. Like they'll try, but they'll never make it because they don't understand these four factors are massively important. You're about to get smarter. I'm Rob Level, this is smartrapper.com, and you're gonna get smarter right after the intro. Number one is they're not evolving their style or their mindset. And these go hand in hand because you gotta consider that if you wanna grow as a person and you wanna grow as an artist, you need to be open-minded about things and you need to be consistently evolving, especially with the times, right? So as music evolves, you need to evolve with it as well, your style, your production. And Jay-Z is somebody who's great at this, is like, he may have kept the same style, but at least the production over the years it stayed with the times. And, and that's the reason why Nas didn't. Think about it, okay? But there's other reasons as well. But the thing is though is that Jay-Z was un understood the power of commercial records and he had the right producers in order to make those commercial records and stay on top. Plus if his, his marketing strategies are, are genius, he is a fantastic team. But you also have to be willing to gather knowledge and grow as a person. You have to be willing to understand that you don't know everything and that you can grow. And you guys hear me talk about that all the time. That's why this is called Smart Rapper, because you need to get smarter. You need to get smarter and smarter and consistently evolve as a person in order to get to the levels that you want to, right? You think that where you're at right now in your mind, you think that you could handle being at the top right now? There's no way. There's no way, because it's such a long road of understanding and you need to learn so much knowledge. And that's why I made Smart Rapper. Number two, they don't network, okay? This is a huge mistake that I made initially. Wow. You have to be out there networking because you only need one plug to get to the next person. If you're like, I need a verse from this person, they would fit perfect, perfect on this track. You don't have to like go figure out how to get it. You can get it by getting a favor or somebody Cosigns for you, they're like, yo, this dude is a good dude, he can get you on the track, or maybe you need a placement on a blog, or maybe you need to get into a curated Spotify playlist. If you haven't built the network of the right people, it becomes extremely difficult for you to progress in an industry that is based on connections, right? You ever notice, you see a, a, a video, uh, like what's the video I just watched the other day, uh, that the Wiz Khalifa, the, the nobody or nothing, I don't remember what it was called, it's like one of the new videos with Ty Dolla Sign. You're gonna see a bunch of rappers in that video. You see, you see like even Lil Dicky in the background of that video. And if you go to a lot of other rappers' videos, all through the years, you'll notice other rappers in the background. And these people show up they don't get shouted out in the video. You don't even notice till later that they were even in the video because you don't even recognize them at that level. But this, what was happening was they were networking this entire time. They were networking. Somebody like Pitbull, who was with Lil Jon in like 2002, 2003, making songs about 24 inch rims and screaming on tracks and doing basic raps who then understood, oh, I need to go, I need to do commercial music because that's where that's where this needs to go, right? So it's like this this network of growth and he's a per actually a perfect example of somebody who understood that style needed to evolve because his old style was not gonna work for him. And then he was really smart. He's like, I'm gonna do this instead. And he was much better at it. And now he sells millions of records, right? <laughs> so you have to consider that you wanna evolve your style and you need to be networking like crazy. And you guys have heard me talk about this. Number three is yeah. most people don't understand that it's a business, okay? You have to understand that this is the record business. This is the music industry. Industry is business, okay? If you don't understand that your value and how much money you can make for someone else is your value to them. You have to be able to make money. How much money are you worth? Now, I ain't saying she okay. go, like, what can you provide for someone else? If an A&R looks at you and they're like, oh, he can't sell records, he can't sell tickets, then why, the hell, why would they sign you? Ain't messing with no broke niggas. Think about this. Atlantic just signed Catch the Catch Me Outside here. <laughs> She's not good at making music, but they know that she already has a family so they could sell it. And that right there is sheer proof to you that it's about whether you can sell something, not can you make good music. They signed somebody who's not even a musician. Think about that. They signed the Cash Me Outside girl to make money from her, because she has like, what, two million followers, something like that? They're like, we can make money off of her. Yes, sir. Right? She don't do music, but she can sell. It's about making money. She got signed to Atlantic, that's a massive label. Keep that in mind, it's a business. They can't, if people cannot make money from you, they will not care about you. And when you start making money, when you start buying Rolexes, all right, when you start going and getting real gold chain, when you start going and you're making your own money, 
Watch how people start treating you. Watch how much respect you start getting. Watch and see how everybody wants to do a deal with you because you've been hustling for long enough and now everybody's paying attention to you. See what kind of deals you get when you're making money. Go ahead. And number four, oh. you cannot be egotistical. You cannot be cocky. You cannot be, you just can't be that because people don't like that. You could be to a certain extent, like you could be that on tracks, like a Nelly line, like, like, a, um, like I'm, I'm cocky on the mic, but I'm humble in real life. Like that's really, and that's really how it needs to be. You can be as cocky as you want on the mic, but in real life, you cannot be egotistical. People don't like egotistical people. Like look at, like, look at Kanye. Yes, he's very egotistical. I'm going down as right? a legend. But so many people love him. But imagine how many more people would love him if he wasn't cocky. Uh. Look at the reason why you probably like a rapper like Logic or Kendrick Lamar. Like li literally, Ke Kendrick released the record name Humble. It, these people, you see them, there's this urge inside of, of us naturally to not like someone's music because there's these layers of, I don't like them for this reason, I don't like them for this reason, I don't like their attitude. But when you watch an interview from an artist and they're being extremely humble and you see that they're pretty intelligent and they know their stuff and they're just not assholes, you like them so much more. Why? Because they're down to earth. And you see, wow, I, I could be friends with that person. But if you're egotistical, people are like, I don't want to be friends with this motherfucker. I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to know this dude. And now I've had people where I watch an interview from him and I'm like, I don't even like this dude's music anymore. Right? So you need to be humble because that's going to make you a wider network of people. You need to be a nice person. Okay? You need to uh, demand authority. You need to you know, be authoritative when the time calls. Right? You need to be alpha. You need to do what you need to do to make sure that people don't disrespect you. Right, but you also need to be the nice guy and don't do anything until somebody somebody really pushes or crosses the line, and that's when you got to handle your, your business. But people are gonna understand it at that point, okay? So I'm just letting you know that's another thing. Don't be egotistical. Be as humble as possible. Go watch like a J, a J Cole interview. You're like, damn, this is a nice guy. I want to be friends with him. You know what I'm saying? And that's before it, this is. They don't even have to be big. You go watch an interview from. I remember watching a Post Malone interview. Um, and this is when I really didn't like him. This is when his first record came out. I don't know. I listened to the podcast on Rap Radar. And I was like, dude, he's such a he's such a nice freaking guy. And I immediately liked him. It bypassed my my hater, my hater, my hater radar, right? Or the thing that, that happens. It's just natural. Right? And he's like, I don't like this dude. Da, da, da. And then you listen to him. I'm like, he's pretty smart. I like him. He's very humble. I like him. Right? Cool. And, but that's what I'm saying. Be humble. And it's gonna it's gonna get past people's little 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 uh, barriers, okay? You just became a smarter rapper. Go ahead and hit me with a follow on Instagram. I just hit 200,000 followers. It's gonna be Rob underscore level. I'll put a link below for you too. And sign up to my email list because you need a free ebook that's gonna help you have some like little tricks and tactics uh, that most people don't know. So you need to sign up to the email list. And I send you three emails a week that are gonna kick you in the ass and motivate you to do things. All right. And plus, hit me with a like, hit me with a comment, and hit me with a subscribe. I truly would appreciate it thank you so much <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then when you hit the subscribe hit the little bell button because it's going to notify you every time i release a new video which is every day so you can become a smarter rapper you guys are going to get some more videos tomorrow but until then i'm going to give you some more videos right here i'm rob level this is smartrapper.com and i'll see you guys tomorrow here's some more videos i've been up all day on a paper chase trying to make my way away Okay, it can't bring me